So, oh no. I just busted off my printer. Oh, that sucks. What's up, guys? I know what you want. You want to have the best photo booth around. Don't we all? But funds are tight. It's Lee here. I am the bartending photo boothing rental guy. And today I'm going to show you how to make a discontinued budget photo printer print 4x12 jumbo photos at your events. So check this out. Jumbo photo booth print. Just so you know, I filmed this video in a long version and a short version. The long version being the more descriptive version for you, those of you that are here to learn. See, you talking about is making out with me. I'm here to learn, everybody, not to make out with you. Go on with the chlorophyll. And the short vision for those of you who are here to be entertained. Are you not entertained? This version right here is the short version. Now normally, I would say no. no, like do not use these with your photo booths, but, but the HP A616 is a very unique little printer. It can print these. What this is, is a 4x12 photo strip. It's a jumbo photo strip. If on a budget, this is just a great way to do it. No photo booth, no problem. All that you have to do is take a laptop, DSLR camera, put them together, download DSLR booth, hook up your printer and you're set. There's a photo booth in its raw form. I do have another video that explains a raw photo booth. So I know that there's printers out there that can print jumbo photo strips uh, at a fast pace, but uh, we're talking about on a budget here. So if you're on a budget, you can find one of these um, on eBay for probably like a hundred bucks. Uh, I got this one for 50 bucks. Yes. <laughs> they already have knockoff ink made. You can just buy it on a uh eBay and Amazon. They have uh, special sponges in them that are uh, a lot larger than the HP sponges, so uh, they hold more ink. So um, I'm going to show you how to fill your own cartridges after you order them uh, in a video right Did you catch all that? So what we have here is a 4 by 12 sheet of inkjet paper. So HP has since discontinued the uh, printer paper that goes with it, the 4x12 sheets. Uh, this is what it looks like, so if you can find it online on eBay or Amazon, sometimes they pop up, then get it there. But if you can't find it there, uh, here's what you can do. If you want to cut your photo paper, you should order this. Uh, so what that is is 13 by 19 photo paper off Amazon. You can cut it each uh, each sheet into four 4 by 12 sheets. Take one of these and cut it down to this. I've cut it out. Bam! My photo booth here has DSLR booth installed onto it. Um, as soon as you plug the printer into your photo booth, if it's using Windows 10, it will automatically... Uh, recognize the HP A616. Now let's uh, tell the photo booth to tell the printer to print the bigger size. Go to template, go into orientation and click vertical, change the width to four and change the height to 12. You ready to party? I'm ready to party with the best of them. Bam! All right, so let's print them out. And there we have it. Jumbo photo quality prints uh, from your home printer. So uh, the HP A616 is an awesome choice if you want to make awesome jumbo prints at your photo booth event. So all of you photo booth owners out there, having one of these little photo booth printers at your event is probably not very functional because it goes pretty slow. Pretty slow. But if you add a DNP RX1 or a normal photo booth printer and simultaneously print both photos, then you got something really cool. Four by six photos and four by 12 photos, along with 
copies of the photos being sent to your guests' uh, phones and emails through the SLR booth. So let's do it. Right when the guest walks up, they get to choose a template. The four by six photo, take a picture. All right, so it is programmed to send that picture to the DNP RX1, the four by six printer. So we'll print it. And then the next people can already be in the booth. They want the four by 12 photo. So they just click on the four by 12 template. Uh, I brought some real people for this one. All right, our people have gone through the photo booth, so let's print out their photo. We have our jumbo photo strips printed. So now I've shown you how to uh, print with two printers simultaneously, or else hook just a little printer up to a photo booth or a computer for a house party or for a DIY wedding. So guys, if you like this video, then check out the longer version where I explain everything in more detail. You stay classy. Bam, 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 bam.